Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round. Kewis. Kewis has some very nice toilets. It's like the locally owned, not run by the council. The only problem is they don't let you wee there. If you want to poo, you've got to do it in public. See, if you vandalise the toilets, which are there, they end up chucking you in here, which is a Corlin Kewis prison. And it looks like lots of people must vandalise them because they've got benches. I just had a wee. And I washed my hands. Honest. One thing you notice immediately is the noise. Vehicles and birds. Very noisy around here. Very noisy indeed. Very, very noisy. This is a very old town, these Kewis. Uh, as you can see here with these really old cottages which were built probably about 1570 looking at them looking at the architecture i'm an expert remember the first school ever taught english and they also taught them go on what i'm gonna say that's right latin they have a golf course here sadly it's closed forever by the looks of it so you can hear a high-pitched noise or not Either someone's got the washer on a spin cycle. Or it's that mast. Maybe the mast has got the washer on a spin cycle. Either way, it's terrifying. You like my brain's being scanned. The locals are quite friendly though. Meh. Meh. Not very talkative though. Nope. One's just popped out of the woods. Meh. No, nothing. Of course, I don't speak Latin. They don't understand me. God, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's actually another aerial there that looks like a washing line. You know, one of those spinning washing lines that's got a bit mental. And got a bit, you know, like an umbrella that's blown up inside out. I think that might be the thing that's making the high pitched squeaky noise. But it's very loud. That's probably why there's no kids around here, because if I can hear it, it must be deafening for them. Health and safety tip. When you're walking on roads and there's no footpath, always walk on the side of the oncoming traffic. That way you can see the who's going to run you over. Next to these ancient uh, Jacobean uh, monolithic uh, cottages, which are about three, four hundred years old, uh, you've got this brand new build here, uh, which has got a little pointy bit on the top. Um, I think it's one of their arrows that says you are here, but they didn't take it off the map or didn't take off the plans where they built the building. So kept it on never mind technically i am here well i'm not here i'm i'm, I'm not there i'm here but I'm just, I'm just sitting i don't know i'm confused now it's confused me more than solved the problem to be honest the church has a massive wall going around it it's bigger than adrian's wall adrian being my neighbor next door but two uh, it's massive as well to be fair, it's next to a supermarket, so it kind of makes sense. Because otherwise people park on his lawn. Anyway, um, I'm digressing. Uh, but on this side, the wall's very low. Which makes me wonder if, spookily, the people who are six feet under are only like one foot under where the road is. It's a bit scary. But it's a beautiful church. Look. Yeah, drain pipe. Uh, there, drain pipe. He's like, what are you pointing at a drain pipe for? What are you pointing at them for? Well, if you go further up, you can see that when the water comes off the roof, it goes through a pretty little hole. That's nice. Talking of little holes, look at the slits as well. That's to keep non-believers like me away. Bows and arrows and things. And they've got a really nice clock. Oh, I'm getting vertigo now. Like many churches in Wales, if you misbehave yourself, they chuck you into the prison underground, the prison dome. And again, like every church anywhere, they've got a stairway to hell. Breaking up the big wall that goes around the church are two of these hot things which the locals seem to use as a walkthrough 
actually walk in one way and go out the other way. Even Santa uses it. Remember the first school we had earlier? Well, they've even got an old court. I don't know how that works. Sheep rustling? There was a sheep rustling in some bushes earlier. Maybe it should go to court. If you want to read that, you can, but I can't read Latin, so I'm leaving it. Pause it if you want. I mean, the beauty and, well, just beauty of this place is plain to see for anyone with the history, the architecture and everything else. It's inspired Banksy so much that not only has he done just a normal painting, he's actually Christmasized the entire bus station. And there you go. Merry Christmas 2021. You can always tell where the rich people live, can't you? They put a wreath on the door. Mind you. There's lots of reefs on doors around here. I think everyone's rich. It's that sheep stuff, I think. Now, everybody likes a nice pub. Well, I don't. I don't go to pubs, to be honest. But this one is the Royal Oak. And it is actually quite nice. It's even got the high women's trail thing on it. Which means, if you're high on men, you can stop here. I'll pass that. Lots of houses nowadays don't have chimneys. So Santa has to practice regularly. You know, to get in a house that doesn't have a chimney. Usually comes through the upstairs window. I've never seen him do it, though. So, I assume it's true. I forgot we were in Welshie Wales until I saw this tiny little cottage. Tiny, tiny, tiny little people. And uh, this rather splendid-looking uh, building, which is a... Uh, well, it's a building that's splendid-looking. Enough said. Some people are posher than others. Wreath. That's posh. Kind of. Because now we've got... Two little trees in a reef. <laughs> Posh, yeah. We've even got a paste office, which is impressive. It's more than Wigan's got. <laughs> you know, I like places that come up with really clever names. And some people just come up with lazy names on the corner. I can see that. And there's more than one corner. Be more specific. One of my favourite bands from the 1980s was uh, T. Sophia's. And this Barbers is named after the wrong one. Despite the lack of many modern amenities. If there is a fire here in the town, we are covered with the uh, amazing fire hydrants that they've got here for the fire brigade. The only problem is the roses are only about 25 foot long. So you have to have your fire within a 25 foot radius of the uh, hydrants. Otherwise, well, they ain't coming. People dare to criticize my architectural knowledge. Look at these cottages here. They look, you know, really old. 2005. See? 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 I've always wanted enough money to buy a house that has a name, you know, like something house. But I name it after a part of my anatomy, part of my body. But I'm not sure which part I would name it after. No, I can't think of anything. So if you want to come somewhere that's got modern architecture, toilets that are really nice, a lovely church, uh, big walls, uh, reefs and stuff like that. You can do a lot worse than come to Clarice, whatever it's called. So next time, bye. Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round. One thing you know is intro. Favorite bands. One of my favorite bands from the 90s. Oh my God.